You know the expression, they don't make them like they used to. It's true when it comes to feature films. Just uh, splicing preview onto the front of this. Aaron Burgess is a film projector operator at the Narrow Theater. His work in 35 millimeter film is in many ways heading towards extinction in the digital age. It's my trade and I love it. Experts say in the next year to year and a half, the major movie distributors are going to stop making 35 millimeter film. To stay with the times, independent theaters like the Narrow and Ghent will have to buy a new digital projector. It looks like film. The audience had not know the difference, but um, it is a digital projector, and they're like sixty to eighty thousand dollars to do it. Money the narrow doesn't have. We make less money now than we did back in the eighties. For thirty-five years, Tom Vorlis and his friend Tench Phillips have owned the historic narrow, which dates back to the nineteen thirties. Different than the competition, the narrow offers documentaries, foreign films, independent films, and even cult classics. Vorlis says many people consider the narrow an extension of their own living room. There are many people that come here, and we see them all the time. They, they have their seat. I mean, when they walk in the door, the girls at the concession stand will see them and they get their, you know, small popcorn with no butter and medium drink. The Narrow, its customers, and even the city have raised money in the past to keep the theater open. But could the digital dilemma be the end of the show?